Bloop. Forest will be... Yep, forest. Picture. It's a mysterious button. Not an actual button. What is? The picture. Yeah. If I have, a, like, a library, like, my own place with a library, big fucking library, I would like a picture like that. Where it looks like a painting of the actual library itself. Yeah, libraries will be digital by then. And then maybe, like, another one that looks really distorted and fucked up and creepy right next to it. Books will be as rare as the hurdy gurdy by then. <laughs> hurdy gurdy, what? You don't know what that is? I've never heard that term before. Hmm. Well, let me explain. The hurdy gurdy. The hurdy gurdy. I only know this because I was watching an episode of House. It is a musical instrument that's kind of like a violin, it has a handle on the right end opposite the strings that you turn yeah. and it rotates a rubber wheel that then plays across all the strings and there's oh. a keyboard in the middle that moves where the strings are tensioned to get different notes that's really neat yeah and he was ddxing with his team and he mentioned like some disease and they're like but that's super rare about as rare as a hooker who can play the hurdy gurdy, which apparently isn't, or is <laughs> is actually possible. And there's one in his hotel room playing it. Oh, I would pay good money for a hooker to play one of those. That's amazing. <laughs> that is so fucking amazing. Random fact of the day. Well, thank you for that. The oh, picture of this puzzle. That tree always reminded me of a classmate of mine. Someone gave him a rather mean nickname of Harry Forest or, or Harry Tree, something like yeah. that. And it was around the age where like half the kids knew what that meant. <laughs> Poor Mike. don't remember exactly fireman's wheel how. okay yeah after I do it all the way then the, the tree starts to freaking do stuff does it rise yep I think we're supposed to get into it before that is supernatural And the door mysteriously closes on you. So, what exactly did you do? There is a gas thingy. Yes. Which basically pumps that tree to go up or down or whatever. So you made it go up and then made it go down and hopped in. Yep. How do you make it go up and down? You just turn the wheel? I believe I did. I, I'm not 100% sure actually. Oh, to make it go down? Yeah. Well, up and yeah. down. Yeah, to make it go up, I lit the pilot light, turned the gas wheel all the way over to the right, let it go up, and then I turned the wheel back to turn the gas off, and then the tree started going down. Oh, 
this area. It's really loud with birds and froggies and... Ooh, froggy! I didn't know that. What? There was another living organism in this game? Yes! It's surprising. No, I think it's gonna like explode any minute now. <laughs> it's possible. Now, for the very first puzzle, we need to... Oh, this tree Everything here is water-powered. There are elevators that I need to power up. And to do that, I need to... I don't remember. I gotta follow the pipe. There we go. Now you hear water running. Now I think the first one that we can actually get to... I don't think it's this one. That looks fun. Yeah, this door is locked. And the only way to unlock it is by accessing it from the next floor. No, you can just go underneath it. Yes. Actually, you probably could, but... This game doesn't let you swim. I was referencing when you made fun of me, fun of me when I was playing Riven. I don't remember. That first initial door that you have to go underneath. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. What am I doing? Pooping. Powering that. I'm not pooping. You're pooping. No. Not now. Are you sure? Yeah, I took care of that earlier. Don't worry. Okay. I trust you for now. That looks like an outhouse. <laughs> it does. Come on. Close. Switch. Yay. What is that, a reinforcing up. bar up and below the window? That? Yeah, it is. For the door. Now lots of birdies and a lot of noise from the wind and trees creaking. This doesn't seem very safe. I think there are two levels to this place, or maybe just one, I don't know, it's been a while. Technically by default, wouldn't there be two, the first and the second? I know the thing is in one of these round, whatever the hell you want to call them, hmm? and it's at one that's at a dead end. Yep, right here. Fake gazebos. Yay! I did good. I want to see these stairs. They don't even look like stairs. Right. It's like a misshapen thing. <laughs> Reminds me of a noodle. There is a 70% danger hazard in real life. For falling off. Yeah, normally there would be. Am I going right now? They'd be like, damn. Guys, maybe we should think something else. Now I suddenly want to listen to that song. Damn, I wish I was your lover. You know that song? No. Oh god. It's fucking terrible. But it's stuck in my head now. Shit. It won't go away. 
Get that pump going. We should put the pipe under the water. Hmm? Wouldn't you put the pipe under the walkway? No, because there's water under the walkway. Yeah, but like mount it under the, the path. Well, I don't know how that would work. Damn. No. Fuck you. It's gonna be stuck in my head. Ever. All right. Finally. And the other end of the torn up note. So it's vault access. End of mist. And in very plain view on mist. And accessible access can be silly if the simple loud. First locate switches on the island. These switches to the go to the dock and earn the marker switch, turn the off position. Basically, it's just saying that we have to turn all the switches on and then just keep that one off. But we're not going to do that yet. Moldy cheese. What? <laughs> Moldy cheese. Oh. Because that was totally necessary. Yes, it was. It was a segue. A segue. <laughs> it was a conversation starter. Do you like moldy cheeses? Mmm, I'm not really a big fan of blue cheese. Maybe on a like really cheese in good general? salad. You said moldy cheeses. All cheese is moldy. Right. Well, yeah, all cheese is living, isn't it? Yeah. It's constantly bacteria. And well, that's, you don't like how, super moldy cheese. that's how they start making new cheeses, is to take you know, previous cheese, because it has stuff to start growing new cheese. That is correct. Just like yogurt. I'm surprised you don't like blue cheese. It's okay. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, if you hate it... It looks kinda scary, though. Be sad. Well, it looks kinda it cool, but just like, the whole thing? Because it's pretty yeah. moldy, isn't it? Yeah. To make it, they poke holes in the cheese while it's in the middle of uh, processing. How do they make different to get the kinds cheese? of cheeses? The never, hmm? never understood that. How do they make the different kinds of cheeses? It depends. Like Swiss versus cheddar? Well, with cheddar, there's a specific type of mold culture? that they use for that. Yeah, culture, whatever. Whatever the word is. Swiss, I don't remember what makes it get those holes though. It's gotta be some kind of gas. Well, it creates its own gas. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't hear water. From what I'm seeing, it looks like you're gonna... Like you're falling off or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wish you could swim in this one. That'd be neat. Is that a windmill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the help 
pump the water. So the water is going that way. We can use compressed air. That is correct. That's why it wasn't working. Where's the source? Hmm? Where's the source? The source of the of what? The water. Right there? <laughs> Seriously? I mean like where it's being pumped from. It's being pumped from where the thing was. That's where I was in the beginning. The thing. Yeah, the, the windmill. That area. And then it just runs over to the dock and pops out of the water? Yep. Yep. I was wondering what the hell you meant by that question. <laughs> Where's all this water coming from? <laughs> Magic. I don't get it. It's from the chemistry. And the science. It's the logic of it all. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Right, cause the water, it just kind of appears, you know? Exactly. Why did that line sound familiar? Because that's something Adam Savage always does. And I always thought it was really funny. Mm. He goes like, I don't know if he's just imitating some super oh self-absorbed actor or something. He's like, right, so here's my motivation for this one. I like actors like that. They entertain me. Sounds like Ozzy or something. Kind of. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here and be right back after I get the blue book. Or blue page. <laughs>